Hello, my sweet sugar bushes, and welcome to the first episode of Paranormal Corner. So, Paranormal Corner is basically, you know, we're going to be talking about anything paranormal. I'm going to be telling you about my experiences, my family's experiences, experiences I have at work, the different kinds of hauntings. If you have a paranormal experience, you can email me at snacksandfanmail at gmail.com. I will place the email address in this bio. And you can send me your paranormal stories, and I will read them on a YouTube video or on like a Twitch stream or on a TikTok live, doesn't matter. But today, we're going to talk about my mom's paranormal stories. And we're also joined by our friends. We have Mr. Plague Doctor. We have Sergeant Sparkly Horn. We have Whiskers. We have Pin Pin the Penguin. I haven't thought of a name for this one, so if you guys want to name this white bear, go ahead and leave some names in the comments. And we have Sid. And then the big ol' big old boy behind me is MC Fluff and Stuff. And this is Evie. So let's get started. So, um, my mom has just had the most insane paranormal things happen to her. And I think she, you know, she has an intuition or something about it, uh, when it comes to the paranormal. Um, but we'll get, that's another topic for another day. Um, so we're going to talk about the, uh, the first story that I told on TikTok that blew up, uh, about my mom's paranormal experiences, um, would be... So a long, many, many moons ago when my mom was a young lady, she was staying with my grandma, um, her mom, uh, in her 20s to get back on her feet. It wasn't anything permanent. She literally just had a bunch of blankets in the back room, and that's where she was staying. So she comes home one night, and she sees that the attic light is on. So she calls her mom, my grandma, from the car, and she says, Hey, why is the attic light on? And my grandma says, Well, we don't have an attic light. And then my mom watches the light turn off, and she's like, oh, that was weird, whatever. You know, I'll just write it off as something else. So she goes into the back room, and she lays down on all the blankets on the floor, you know, because it's not permanent, just temporary. Um, and then she feels this presence in the room. Now, when I described it on TikTok, I said it felt like a uh, something was sitting on her chest, uh, when I asked her again, uh, last time I was home, she said it felt like, uh, the way she described it was more like this dark presence in the room just beating down on her. And she said it scared the living hell out of her. <clears throat> so she started praying, because my mom is very religious, she started praying, uh, and praying, hoping it would lift up enough to where she could, uh, she could maybe knock something over to get my grandma's attention. But as soon as she tried to move, she felt it lift up a little bit. As soon as she tried to move, it set right back down. So she kept praying and praying and praying, hoping um, that it would get up enough. And finally it did. The presence lifted itself and she ran into my grandma's room and jumped in bed with my grandma. And my grandma wakes up and looks at my mom and says, what's wrong? What's going on? And my mom says, nothing. You know, I just wanted to sleep in here tonight with you. And my grandma says, that's weird. Are you sure? My mom was like, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I just want to sleep in here with you. Uh, and my grandma says, are you sure, you know, you didn't see anything? You're, you're okay? And my mom says, yes, I'm fine. <clears throat> I didn't see anything. We're okay. And to which my grandma looks at her and says, then why did it follow you in here? And my mom looks back at her and says, excuse me? And my grandma says, whatever attacked you in the back room has followed you in here and it's standing in my doorway. I don't know what you're doing to attract it, but it's evil and it wants to take you with it. And if you don't get your shit together, it's going to take you with it next time it comes for you. And uh, scared the living hell out of my mom. Um, and the next day, my grandma blessed the house. My mom apparently cleaned up her act real quick, and she ain't never seen it since. Um, now that's just that's that's one of my favorite ghost stories from my mom. It's it's very chilling. Uh, it's got a message and everything like that. But my mom uh, grew up in a three-story house uh, that was a hospice for the terminally ill. Hold on, I gotta let my child in. Sorry about that. I had to let my children. Also, I realized I forgot my rings. Any hoozle. So uh, back in the day, now the, ho the, the house that I uh, that my mom was staying in, uh, the story I just told you was. Um, when she was older, when she was a very young child, she used to stay in a uh, house that was actually a three-story hospice, and I'll post some pictures of it. Um, but that's where all the the wild stuff happened. Um, on the third third floor is where they kept the people they deemed insane. Um, 
she was telling me stories about how she'd come home and her mom she'd come home throw her book bag down in her room and then go and uh go get it get up there get it um she would throw her book bag down and her mom uh, would go downstairs to talk to her mom and every time her mom would be like you know where's you know brandy where's candace you know naming off my mom's friends and uh, my mom would be like well i don't know they didn't come home with me so why would they why would i know where they are um and it wasn't until they moved out and the house was demolished that my uh my grandma would tell my mom the only reason i asked where your friends were is because every time you came home i'd watch you walk up the stairs and go into your room and every time you did there was a little girl that would walk behind you uh every every day and that's why she always asked where my mom's friends were um, that house is insane. I've got pictures of the house that, that I'll, I'll put in future paranormal uh, corners, but uh, that's the, that's one of my favorite ghost stories from my mom. From my mom was the entity following her into my grandma's room. Um, so I, I meant to put this out yesterday, but I just have had the most the worst splitting headache all day. I've had like cluster headaches and stress headaches. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm, I am too stressed, I'm not sure, um, but it's getting a little bit better, so that's good. Um, so like I said, we're going to start doing these Paranormal Corners, hopefully weekly. Y'all chill out, okay? Be nice to your sister. Um, hopefully weekly, um, like I said, if you've got a Paranormal Story you want to share for Paranormal Corner, please email me at snacksdenfanmail at gmail.com and I will read them uh, during episodes. Also, um, I've got a bunch of podcast equipment coming in on Monday, so we're going to get that set up. We're going to start a podcast. On the podcast, we're going to be talking about true crime, paranormal stuff, you know. I'm going to interview people and get real stories from people. And, yeah, good one. Didn't make that jump now, did you? Um, do like stories on people and get people's, you know, experiences through life. Um, hey, leave your sister alone. She's just chilling. That's hopefully going to be started next week. I just got to find a platform for us to uh, for us to host our podcast on. Um, but if you're interested in getting interviewed, be on the lookout for interview applications. Uh, I should have pre-orders for merch coming soon, so also be on the lookout for that as well. Um, thanks for stopping by for the first episode of Paranormal Corner. I will see you guys tomorrow for our true crime segment going over the Girl Scout murders that happened in Oklahoma. If you enjoyed this, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so you can and, and hit that bell button so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. I post content weekly, uh, almost daily on TikTok and things of that nature, so I'll put all my uh, social media links in the bio. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow and next week.